Okay, so let's send this um, unit through to Top Solid Wood Cam. So once again, we've got a dialog box here, and we can pick parts manually or by material. So all those materials have ash. You can pick by thickness, but if you wanted to pick manually, just pick and choose. Now here, we, if you've got multiple machines, then we can set up for each machine here. So this is your template. Once you're happy, you just press OK, and it's going to open up Top Solid Wood Cam. Now it's automatically assigning all the machining there, and that noise you've heard is basically to create a, a G code for your particular machine also. So it's doing two things at once, creating the G code, but also automatically assigning all the appropriate machining to um, your joinery. So, we've got these two parts here, and we'll just open up this item here. So let's just take a look at this. Now, as you can see, we've got all the relevant tool paths here. If we want to take a closer look at this, then we can create a video. So this would be set up according to your tool bank. So all these tools would be set up. As we can see, it's calibrating the outside. So it's giving you a preview of how it's actually going to cut out. So we can speed this up just a small bit. It's going to go back, pick a new tool, cut out that pocket. And I think last is the rebate or the groove. So another item that you probably have seen is that it's automatically positioned the pods. Now if you've got that capability on your CNC then that can also be exported with the G-code. But if you don't then we can export that information out um, on a cutting list or something like that or a bill of materials. But if you wanted to manually change it then you can do so also. So we can click on this and of course we can move out and move the pots. Okay? Like so. Press OK once you're happy. And there you have it. So Top Solid Wood Cam gives you a preview of how it's going to cut out in the C C and C. Once again reducing errors, once again reducing um, material wastage from those errors. If we went back to our 3D model, and we'll just open it up here, if I actually move the machining around, just say you made a mistake, which happens, well, I can turn this on, turn on my original sketches here, and just move that. Okay, so you made a few mistakes, you've got to move the machining around now and so on. Go back to my machining here and it's updated the location of the hole and also the um, pocket. Okay, so no longer do you have to start from the beginning if you've made a mistake. Because it's all linked, you just have to make a change on your 3D model and it'll update accordingly. So once again, reducing that time that you spend on mistakes or errors or changes, leaving you more time for actually producing work down to the machine. So this is Top Solid Wood Cam for now. Um, we've also gotten various different other functions like manual functions and multiple access um, um, capabilities also. But I will be showing that in another video. But for now, thank you for watching.